This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. Coming up next, keeping your pups and cats satisfied when you have to go out of town. Welcome back. Today we're getting tips on uh, ideas on what to do with the pet. If you need to frequently go away from home on business, Sak Nadim is founder uh, and uh, owner of uh, Paradise for Paws. Sak, good to have you on the show as well as your guest here, Mattia. Mattia, yeah, Mattia. thank you for having me. Lovely Weimaraimer. This is your, uh, this is your dog, she right? She is your my person? baby. Yeah. Well, she's lovely, and she's very calm for television. Uh, so, you know, I didn't know that February was the uh, biggest month for business travel. Absolutely. Um, so, of course, after the holidays, the mm -hmm. business travel picks up, and uh, people are always wondering, especially when they travel a lot, right, especially for business trips every week that they're traveling, they are always wondering, hey, what should I do with my dog or my pets or if they have a cat, uh, and they're always looking for tips and uh, trying to do the best they can for their pets. And all of our pets, it seems like they have all sorts of vaccinations, all sorts of medications that they need, and, and you really need to, uh, to kind of keep a log of that, right, so the person caring for your pet knows what to do. Absolutely. You know, so vaccinations, of course, are extremely, extremely important. If, um, if you're leaving your pet behind, uh, sometimes it can be a little bit of a nightmare trying to figure out uh, what vaccinations does my pet need, yeah. what are they current on, um, when is the next one due. So it's always one of the best things you can do is always keep track of what vaccinations are have been given to your pet. So as an example, let's say if you had a last minute trip come up, so you're not flipping through paper trying to figure out what am I going to do, are my vaccinations current, so it's always a great great idea to stay on top of the vaccination and always know, set up even outlook reminders to say, sure. hey, my pet's rabies vaccination is coming up. As you know, I think maybe the most important decision is who's going to take care of the pet. And usually that comes down to either a family friend, a neighbor, or uh, a kennel or, or a, a dog sitter. How do you, Absolutely. How do you decide? Uh, you know, so every, uh, uh, I always talk about that uh, pets are like our children mm -hmm. and there are no two pets that are the same. Every dog is different, every cat is different. <laughs> I'm with you, girl. Do you agree? Do you agree? Why? Let me tell you what happened. Jorge here came in. We've got one of these shoulder mounted cameras, and, and he's, he's coming in to get a close up shot, and she's wary. Would you, you want to go check it out? You want to go check it out? He got a little bit in her space. check it out? So, uh, All right. She's doing fine. She's doing fine. Um, so, so anyway, trying to figure out who's going to take care of the pet, and uh, it's always a difficult uh, decision. Yeah, so I always talk about that you have to determine what's right for your pet. Um, every option is not perfect for everyone. So as an example, there are, especially for dog owners, right, and cat owners, there are multiple different options. So of course, uh, the first option a lot of the times people look at, hey, is there a friend or a family member that can take care of my pet, right? Then they're in-home pet sitters or dog walkers, and of course there are places pet hotels and right. resorts like Paradise for Paws. Uh, so there are a few different things you want to consider as part of that. As an example, uh, the, pe the your friends and family can sometimes be the right. most frugal option. Listen, I'm going to uh, interrupt you because uh, we, 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 we have only a few seconds left. Sure. But one thing you've got to do is be honest about your pet yep. and the pet's personality. And we just saw an example of it right yes, there. Yes, absolutely. Like, like uh, the dog's a, a little skittish when somebody comes into its territory. Yep. You know, we lie about our kids. Sometimes we like to lie about our pets too, right? Absolutely. So you want to let yeah. them know what that dog's personality. Yeah, like. because you want those people to take the best care for your pet. So because of that, you want to be honest with them. It's a little bit like a relationship. Hey, if you're not going to be honest, if they're not going to accept for you who you are, uh, you probably don't want to leave your pet with them. So be honest with them. Give them all the details you can about your pet so that they can take good care of them. And then one, I'm going to read one more tip that I, I think is a great idea. Leave something with your pet that smells like you, a sock, a t-shirt, something like that. I think it's great advice. Yep. Uh, sock, Adim, Adim, thank you so much. Uh, your organization, Paradise for Paws. Good to have you well, in. Thank you so much Great for having advice. me. For more location on uh, two locations for a premier spa for cats and dogs, just check out paradiseforpaws.com.